So this question says a circle in the xy plane has its center at 4, negative 5, and has a radius of 2. So I'm going to just draw that really fast. I'll redraw this if I need to make it more specific. So the center is at 4, negative 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I like to label my graph. So there's a center of my circle. The radius is 2, so it goes up 2, down 2 to negative 7. This will be negative 3. And then left 2 to positive 2. And then right 2 to 6. All right, so my circle looks something like this. An equation of the circle is all of this. Okay, so anytime I see an equation of the circle written out in this way, I prepare myself to use completing the square to solve because a circle equation should look like this. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. All right, so anytime it doesn't, then I'm most likely going to need to use completing the square. So then it says where C is a constant, what is the value of C? Okay, so let's do completing the square. So um, this is actually very interesting. So I have x squared minus 8x. I complete the square by taking half of this 8, which is negative 4. And then I square it, which is 16, and I add that to there. I also have y squared plus 10y. I take half of 10, which is 5, and then I square it, which is 25, which I add to there. Whatever I've added to the left-hand side of the equation has to also be added to the right side of the equation. So I'm going to add 16, add 25, and I'm going to just move the C over as well, so I'm going to subtract C. So I'm, what I'm left with is x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared plus 10y plus 25 equals 16 plus 25 is 41. So 41 minus c. Now the whole point of calling this completing the square is I get to convert these trinomials into a binomial squared and it will always be just x and the middle half the middle term so x minus 4 squared and then for this one, it'll be y and half the middle term. So y plus 5 squared equals 41 minus c. So here's the benefit. The question told me that my radius is equal to 2. So if r equals 2, this number here should be 4. Why should it be 4? Well, because the value here should be r squared, and I know that r is equal to 2. So that's all I'm solving here. 41 minus c is equal to 4. I will subtract 41, subtract 41, that's gone. So I'm left with negative C is equal to, what is that, negative 37. So positive C is equal to positive 37, and that is our correct answer. So our C value here is 37.